Alright, welcome back to P2 Arrow and the Yamaha S21 project. It shouldn't come as a surprise that there isn't anyone out there that makes an S21 cow for a turbo snowmobile engine. I considered starting with a stock cow, but figured I'd be modifying it so much that it just wouldn't be worth it. If you've been following the build, you'll know that with the exception of the power plant, I've pretty much stuck to the plans for the most part. Now that it's time to build the cow, the plan is to take that opportunity and make this thing unique. The goal is to design a cowl that works with the rest of the airframe. The last thing that I want is something odd hanging off the front, so let's give it a shot. I've done the basic shape for the first side, just in order to get my head wrapped around the process. Now that I've got that figured out, it's time to share it with you guys. I've never done a cowl before, so in no way should this process be considered as the right or even the best way to do it. It's simply how I, a first time builder, went about it. To start things off, I had a friend with a CNC router table make me some plywood rings. These would space and act as a guide for the leading edge of the cowl. It indexes off the prop hub, and it will ensure that I have a good fit in the end. I then wrapped the engine in plastic and tape, just to protect it from all the foam. Any surface that the foam, or eventually the composite work, would touch was covered. I like using the aluminum tape since it's a bit more robust than the average tape. I intentionally started on the right side, since it was the side that would dictate how streamlined I could make things, meaning the engine stuck out the furthest over there. I started with a section of foam and shaped it all by itself so that I could monitor how close the engine was getting. Now on the other side, I'll start with matching another foam piece in that same spot and duplicate that profile with a template. I used all kinds of things to cut this foam, but a bandsaw really works pretty good if the piece dimensions work inside the saw. I had good luck with the original version of Gorilla Glue. Uh, it cures as a foam, so I knew it wouldn't prevent flat sanding later since it's close in density to the pink foam. I tried to work in a couple different areas at a time. Uh, as one spot was curing, I could work in some other place and stay busy. The drying times differ with temp and humidity, but the Gorilla Glue seemed to be pretty solid in about an hour or so. I decided that I'd use the pink foam board on the lower portion of the cowl since it would be hard to get the spray foam to stay where I wanted it. The top section I would do in spray foam since the gravity would be on my side. I stacked up the foam board and glued a section in at a time and would move on to adding another layer of spray foam up top. You can't add more than a single layer at a time or it won't cure correctly and you'll have a messy hollow spot that you'll find later with the sander. Ask me how I know. Now this video is going to be a lot of sped up footage. Uh, since you can imagine how much time this all actually takes. But I felt it would benefit folks that actually want to see the process, so I decided to leave most of it in. I'll jump back in and add narrative when I get to the next step.
tried a couple different brands of spray foam, but in the end, I found that the DAP brand was the best for this purpose. The others dried too soft, and it was kind of like trying to sand a sponge. I still used it inside where I knew I would later cover it with the better brand. I'll skip ahead a bit, and now the top is all set up. I'll knock it down with the initial sanding, knowing that I have to go back and fill holes and low spots a few times to get it all solid. Back closer to the firewall, the radiator is too close and the 2 inch foam wouldn't fit. I just used spray foam there to fill it in. A hacksaw blade is pretty handy to cut down these filled in spots uh, so you don't have to sand as much. Alright, I think we've all had enough sanding for one video. I spent a ton of time looking from different angles just to make sure that the profiles looked good to the eye from one side to the other. I still have more fine tuning to do, but I'll do that when we're a bit closer to the final mold surface. Skip ahead again a few days and I have the beginning of the scoop in place. I've gone back and forth on keeping this design or changing it up, but I'm going forward with this one for now. In the end, it's just foam, and if I don't like it, I can just cut it off and do another. Obviously, there's more to do down here, but I figure I'll leave out any more sanding. I think I'll call this portion a wrap and close out the video here. You can expect a couple more videos on the Cal project as I get more of it completed in the days and weeks to come. As always, your interaction in the comments section is always welcome and appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.